It's time for evolution. We welcome you to uh, the Organo Us family. Now, I'm going to share a belief. So, this is a belief that I feel anyone can do. So, I feel that, you know, anything can be accomplished. You know, any goals can be accomplished. If you have the, the focus and the passion and the ability to step out of your comfort zone. And these three things will lead you to the path of excitement, growth, and success. And so when we say that, you know, anybody can do it, uh, my personal belief, I don't feel anybody can do anything. And so to explain further is, you know, if a person isn't, you know, very passionate about a, a particular topic, it's not going to have a longevity within the person. The person is going to be very miserable. So that person isn't really is not really in his heart in his heart to actually do it so let's say let's take for example myself you know i have the the intelligence i understand how to uh program and and code i've, I've taken a few classes um and, and and dived into that however my passion and my focus was not in in programming you know i i could do it if i wanted to but that's not where my my heart was at that's not where my passion was at my passion was more so in the arts and, and in drawing and in and, and in storytelling so so if we were to say you know anyone can do it in regards to me programming you know i myself although i understood it you know i couldn't do it i couldn't find myself doing this this act of programming it's some, something that i wasn't passionate about you know, so I just wanted to go into something that I more so enjoy. And that's something that I could do. And the, the thing that I enjoyed, it naturally, it naturally led to, to me becoming passionate, becoming, uh, becoming focused and, and disciplined and wanting to learn more about the subject. And at the same time, branching out of my comfort zone trying out new things you know many people are afraid of backgrounds or so you know break that boundary step out of that comfort zone draw some backgrounds learn learn one one uh one point perspective two point perspective three point perspective four point or even five point you know branch out do something do something different break break the mold take the risk and this not only applies to to art or anything creative this also applies to life as well if you want to grow and evolve you know you want to you want to have that exciting life do something different in your routine you know do something wild test out something new that you haven't you know experienced before and so i remember one time i went to an ecstatic an ecstatic dancing uh an ecstatic dancing group and it was pretty it was very uh, it was a very trippy experience you know and you know every there was no judgment you know we can make any movement make any sound and it was a really free environment and so what i ended up doing was like i i was i was on the floor and i started roaring like a lion very very loudly and everyone could hear me but you know it was it was a very fun environment we, we were dancing it, it was it was exciting you know it was something new and it, and it really did help help with you know my self-esteem and at the same time it helped with you know becoming more more relaxed within within myself my body you know trusting myself more and so yeah you always want to try something new you know when when when, when you're breaking the mold you start to experience something new break break the ego break the persona you 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 have break that story you have about yourself saying that you're you're this type of person <clears throat> because that's a limited that's a limited character description change up your character character description description you know break the mold you know do something very scary do something very risky but at the same time practice safety as well but do something risky you know
if you feel called to to an event or if if you feel called to you know strike up a conversation to a stranger you know just do that do that and don't and don't even mind the the outcome don't care about the what what if they hate me what if they dislike me don't 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 focus on the path the, on the past or the future focus on what's happening presently you know if they if they uh if they happen to you know ignore you or you know you know anything you know it doesn't matter because you're you're like you're likely not going to see that person again you know uh and another philosophy is that you know you know any any kind of mistakes that we make in in public or you know you know in in a very you know public environment you know or being so concerned about what you look like or you know who you're talking to I don't feel like it will matter as much just due to the fact that, you know, a week later, these strangers or these random, random people, these random people that you meet on the streets, you know, you're not going to see them again, ever again. They're not going to be thinking about you and they just won't be thinking about you in the next two months or, or in the next year. It just won't matter. We would have, you know, moved on by then. You know, and you know, dirt has to go through intense pressure to become a diamond. Likewise, with us, and at the same time, it doesn't have to be a very our outlook on how this and how this pressure is. It doesn't have to be very drastic or very or very horrific. It can be very challenging, very and a very exciting perspective, a very fun perspective to to look into. Seeing things as a challenge to yourself, as opposed to a obstacle. And so, think about all the. So, if we were to go back to art, think about all the cool art that you'll be able to make when you understand the technicalities of what's happening. When you go to that 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 pressure of understanding anatomy and and doing backgrounds, just drawing it, then that. That intense pressure to form that diamond is going to come about when you've done your studies and then after you've done your studies, it's ingrained in you and now you're able to put what you've what you studied into practice. Things get harder in the beginning. Things are harder in the beginning and it get e- and it, they get easier later. But even if it gets easier as a uh, as a uh, professional artist, uh, you always want to find something that's challenging to grow even further. However, when you're first starting, when you're first starting out, there's there's a lot to learn, you know. But as you're learning a whole bunch, you know, is you'll you'll eventually get there. And as you as you get there, you know, you always want to keep looking for new new things that you don't know about, you know, studying new artists. <coughs> And whatnot, because there's always somebody that that knows more, you know. There's always something that you haven't tried out yet, you know. You always want to like, you know, break the boundaries, always take the risk, step out of that comfort zone, or expand your comfort zone, you know. So yeah, that'll be the, vid- that'll be the video. Uh, peace. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to go down below and hit the red subscribe button and as well hit the bell button next next to it to get notified for when you, uh, I upload new videos. And down below in, in the description I have a discord chat and within this discord chat I provide drawing references that I found all around the internet in my own personal notes. And you can also share artwork with other members of the Ogana Art family. And so, peace.